we're going to talk today about plant cells. Plant cells are considered as eukaryotic cells like animal cells. We have two types of plant cells. The first one is the vascular and the second one is the non-vascular. Vascular have evolved specialized tissue such as xylem and the second one is the phloem. Xylem is involved in structural support and water conduction while phloem is for food conduction. Nonvascular is usually members of the division of prion pita, which is usually no more than an inch or two in height because they do not have adequate support which is provided by the vascular tissues to other plants to grow bigger. For example, for non-vascular, we have the giant sequoia trees, which is considered as the largest living organisms because it usually grows as tall as 330 feet or as 100 meters. For vascular, we have the celery and grass as an example. As you can see in the picture, these are the features or the parts of the plant cells and it looks like animal cells. The difference is the plant cells is considered as larger than the animal cells and the plant cells is rectangular in shape. So the first part of this is cell membrane which is also called as plasma membrane and it is the outer lining of the cell inside the cell wall. The second part is the cell wall, which is origin covering of the plant cell, and it is a salient feature of plant cell. Third is cytoplasm, it usually also called a cytosol. It is gel-like matrix inside the cell membrane, which is constitutes all other cell organ. Next is chloroplast. Chloroplast is a long or disc shaped organ containing chlorophyll and have two membranes and have structures that look like stock of a kind. Next one is the nucleus. Nucleus is the control center of the cell and it have an envelope or what you call the bond by a double membrane and this bound is called nuclear envelope. Next is mitochondria. Mitochondria is carries out a cellular respiration and provides energy to the cells. Next is the vacuoles. The vacuoles is temporary storage center of the cell. It also performs function of secretion, excretion, and storage. Next is the Golgi body. This is the unit where proteins are sorted and packed. And also this is called a cells packaging center. Next is ribosomes. Ribosomes is the smallest and the most abundant cell organ and structures that assembles proteins. Next is endoplasmic reticulum. Like animal cells, it have rough and smooth, and this membrane covers organs that transport materials. And the last part is the amyloplast. Amyloplast is for vesicles containing starch glycogen grains, which is bonded by this membrane. And starch is a store of sucrose and glucose in the plant cells. So these are the features and the parts of the plant cells. But the question is, what is the difference between plant cells and animal cells? As you can see here in the diagram, here we have the compare and the contrast of both cells, plants, and animal. Both plant and animal cells have mitochondrion Golgi apparatus, rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, cytoplasm, 
and ribosomes. While the difference of the two that we cannot see to each other, plants have several large vacuoles, chloroplasts, and also flangelia only in gene cells. And also while an animal, it have no cell wall, small or no buckle, and no chloroplast and flangelia. Plant cells versus animal cells. Animal cells is relatively smaller in size. Plant cell is relatively larger in size. Round shape for animal. And required to consume protein in order to obtain nitrogen. While plant cells, it looks like a box sheet and able to utilize inorganic forms of the element. So that's all. Thank you for listening and see you for the next video.